So, Age of Empires 3 blog. Blog? Vlog. Vlog, not- yes. Standing for video log, so not a blog. Uh, yes, I'm gonna be- well, I guess it's not just Age of Empires 3, I'm gonna be talking about uh, myself as well, but the YouTube channel and uh, Age of Empires 3. This is just gonna be me talking at you about what's going on with the channel. Of course, I've been quite inactive, and you might be wondering why. Some of you will know, though, my computer has obviously been broken. Oh, this, in, this by the way, is Hearthstone. This is another game that I do quite enjoy. They've just released an expansion pack. Uh, where this, it's a card game, by the way, so I bought some packs. Uh, most of these packs came from my in-game gold. So you can see I've got 435 left. I could buy some more packs with that, but uh, I'd rather keep this for doing arena runs, if, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to be opening these whilst I talk to you, but... Uh, Oh yeah, I've got ten, um... <laughs> I, I just accumulate these from doing arena runs. These are the original packs. These are expansion packs. Um, so I guess we'll open one of these every ten of these. Something like that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, what am I going to be talking to you about then? So just so you know what this is, this video is going to be about. I'll just, I've got a list of things here. I'm going to be talking about Saturday Smackdown. And um, how that's going to continue in the future. I'm going to be talking about uh, the return of solo commentary. Uh, of course, me commentating by myself and also doing other videos on this channel by myself. You know, that's what I did originally, and it is what I, you know, well, I'll be talking about that. I'm going to be talking about solo commentary. Uh, yes, the PC is back. I'm going to be talking about the PC. Um, donations, thank you so much for your generosity. I, I am astounded that uh, people actually want to do that. Uh, streaming, going to be talking about streaming, which is um, partly where some of the donations come from. And I'm uh, going to be talking about university. So, let's get into this. I'm going to start with... I guess we'll start with a normal pack. So, this won't be very exciting. This is, like, just original cards. What do we get? A golden rare. We got Flare. Fortunately, though... I mean, unfortunately, though, I do not play Hunter. So, that's not going to be wholly uh, useful. But, nice pack. Got a golden rare. Pretty good. That's just some dust for me. I don't like golden cards. I see them as somewhat pointless. But, uh, yes, I guess we'll talk about Saturday Smackdown to begin with. Of course, uh, Saturday Smackdown is what I do normally. Um, normally with Zeus, sorry, and is what's been normally being uploaded for the past couple of months until I went inactive. Um, yeah, actually, we'll talk about going inactive. Golden Minibot, Golden Cobalt, G Oh, yes, okay. Uh, so, so nice cards here, yeah. Just golden rares everywhere, pretty cool. But, um, yeah, let's talk about the computer. This, this, what I've got now is absolutely insane. Like, it was broken, and I, I don't, like, software side, I'm pretty good. I know how to fix a computer. Um, but hardware side, once you open it up, I really have no idea. So, I had to send it off to get it fixed. Uh, I told them what I wanted in it, and they put it in there. And uh, they fixed it, and I paid an extortionate amount of money. Basically, um, they gave me discount on um, because I'm a student at where I'm studying, um, for which which will okay the University of Essex because everyone's going to ask. They always do in the streams, and uh, you know it's 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 world world leading in human in social sciences, and that's um, studying linguistics, which is a social science. I believe we were ranked top uh, top ten in the UK for linguistics. Something like that. Every single year, except the year that I joined. So, <laughs> I know it's not all about ratings, but like, the year I joined, they're like, nope, not so good anymore here. Um, but I'm really enjoying uni. But let's let's stay on the uh, the topic of, we'll talk about uni later, I'm going to be doing that. But let's talk about that PC. Yeah, so I spent um, £270 getting it fixed. Yeah, I had to have a new power supply put in, that's partly why the old graphics card was bust in the first place. And I, oh, mech bear cat! Golden, what, another, and it's golden, another golden rare, this is great. Oh, but I'm not going to disenchant that, because I really want a, a mech bear cat. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, like, my main is druid, I'm going to be using that, I think. Whenever this minion takes damage, add a spare part. Yeah, six mana, seven, six. Add a spare part to your hand, probably will be using that. Another rare. Not bad. Okay. Some, uh, obviously, uh, we haven't, I, I'll, I'll. I'll try and talk less about the cards. I'm just so excited for this expansion. The computer's been broken. I've just got it back. I've just been able to play this. I spent most of my in-game gold uh, to get these cards and then topped it up to 100 with some real money because um, I do. I am going to play this card, this, this game. So many golden cards. I've never seen so many in like this. You do not get them that frequently. I love the animation on the puddle start. Wow. Goblin Blast Mage, very strong. But yes, this is a GeForce GTX 760, uh, obviously ASOS graphics card, 
2 gigabyte devoted. Uh, there are certainly better graphics cards out there, but this is still very top of the range. It's it's an epic. Yeah. <laughs> it is epic. Uh, an epic there. Yes. And uh, essentially this card means that I can run Age of Empires 3 max graphics like before, but this time genuinely max graphics, and I can record uh, recorded game commentary, and those of you will, you know, you'll know from before I never did recorded game commentary on... Um, on full graphics because it slows the plate like it makes a, a 20 minute game into like a 30 minute recording for some reason which I just don't understand that makes no sense to me um, and that's to do with the frame rate and now I can run like max graphics recording and no problem it doesn't slow the playback of the game down so that's ideal um, so yeah that's out the way computer is really good I'm really happy I've got it back now because they had it for so long partly because you know I had to wait for them to drop it off because I can't drive yet and they're really far away and they couldn't fix it on campus because they deal with software and anyway, let's get out of this. So, uh, what did I say? Saturday Smackdown, yes. Before I got sidetracked by the fact that my computer is broken and that's why there have been no videos. Indeed. Saturday Smackdown, from now on, um, you know, it, it was originally Zooter's thing. He's been running that for a long time, and even before then. Ah, now we have to open the regular pack. Yeah, so Zooter was doing that on his own, but I think now I'm, I'm sort of here to stay, I think, for the for foreseeable future. Of course, it is Zooter's stream, so he can kick me out if he really wanted to, but I think he likes me there. I like casting with him. It does create a lot of nice content for the channel, and when I say that, it creates a lot of content, which I'm not hugely happy with, because I do think that, you know, this channel was... It, I got it to where it was with just solo stuff, and I've noticed that um, people have been missing that, and... I know now that there's been less of it, the videos get less likes as well. I just think everything would be better with some more solo commentary. So I will be going back to that. Oh, an epic hobgoblin! Whenever you play a one, whenever you play a one attack minion, give it two to two. Oh, but I won't, that won't be very useful in my druid deck. Unfortunately, got my piloted shredder. Definitely going to be running one of those. I think, maybe. I want the uh, uh what I need is this piloted shredder. Then there's that six mana guy. Um, like. Sky driven piloted skybot or something, which is a six mana when it dies, summon a four cost minion rather than this one, which summons a two. Then there's Schneed's old shredder, which when it dies, summons a legendary. And I really want Schneed's old shredder. That is that is going in the deck. That thing is sick. But uh, yes, what was I talking about? Yeah, so heart the Hearthstone videos. Whoops. Um, the what do you call it? Saturday Smackdown videos will of course now be instead of being one one video per game per match. They're going to be, the entire stream is now just going to be one really, really long video. Another golden rare. Wow. So, you may have noticed that on the previous Smackdown, but from now on, like, every Smack Saturday Smackdown will just be, like, a, a, a two-hour video. And if there is a particularly good game, I will, of course... Oh, Tree of Life! Yes! I, 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 everyone says this card is bad. Restore all characters to full health. And it probably isn't going to be that good. I, like, I know that, but... I want to play this card. My deck is going to be so late game that they're going to rush me down. I'm going to be on like two health just as I'm starting to stabilize. And of course, I wouldn't have stabilized because I have two health and I'll die the following turn or something. And I'll, all of my cards will be super expensive, super strong. Then boom, Tree of Life, I'm at 30 health. And I haven't done any damage to them all game. And they, they, they just restore to nothing. And I now that I've got 28 more health, suddenly I'm able to... Tree of Life, so happy to get that card. I'm going to be running that in my Druid deck until I suddenly realize that it's terrible. And then I'll probably stop playing it. But yeah. So yeah, really long videos for Saturday Smackdown. If there's a particularly good game, I will make it into a highlight video. Uh, which is essentially just going to be like... Um, just a, like an individual match like normal so that we get like the best Saturday Smackdown games are going to be seen by more people because I think that's a good thing to do but solo commentary I something that hasn't been on here for a while I'm going to go back to doing alongside Saturday Smackdown regular traditional interjection style commentary Druid of the Fang another Druid specific card if you have a beast transform this minion into a 7-7 seven, seven. so good so good, but if you can't, if you don't have a beast, it's a 4-4, which is awful. So this card is either really bad or really good, so um, I guess that's the nature of card games. But uh, that's pretty good. Should be able to get that working fairly consistently if you build your deck right, though. But, uh, yes, that's uh, solo commentary is going to return. But I'm also going to be doing some BTM-style commentary. 
and if uh, those of you who do not know what that is, Big Thunder Man is of course, uh, well most of you will know, he's linked on my side, uh, if you go to my main channel you'll see him down the side. Uh, he's He did Age of Empires 3 videos for a long time, was actually way more subscribed than I was for a period of time, and uh, he stopped, he went inactive, I think he, to this day he'd still be more subscribed than me, I just think his, co his commentary is more accessible to the general viewer, uh, whereas mine's very, you know, me and Zuta do, you know, sort of high level stuff, and there's less high level people out there who are interested in that. Um, so, you know, because Zuta is very like, oh, this is standard and just assumes that everyone knows what he's talking about. And uh, there's that. But yes. Uh, BTM style commentary, in the sense that he always did videos where, um, how do you call it? Like, he'd play a game himself and then just talk over the top of it once he'd played it. And I want to do that too, because uh, I did that before on my old channel. And um, that was what got me known on my old channel. And the switch to, to commentary, like the, the style that I do on this channel, was only because I got a new computer. And that's why I wanted to do all along and was able to do that. But I'm uh, going to go back to that. People did enjoy that. And I think that's something nice that I can do on this channel. And obviously, my, on my live streaming channel, I'm going to get that going as well, because I will be streaming more. Uh, but yes, I also want to do more coaching style videos, as you'll have seen in the past, like, um, people have, you know, the videos I do where I just talk over the top of someone who's perhaps not quite so good at the game, and just discuss the, what they're doing well, what they're doing badly, stuff like that, and, uh, how they can improve. Another Tree of Life! Probably not gonna run two, like, realistically. I just don't think running two would be, yeah, but I've, I've got two now, yes. Sick. Uh, so there's that. Can do the uh, the old tell people how to improve style videos, um, which sort of leads me nicely onto the tips and tricks. Uh, oh, I have to. When wait, hold on. I think I have to open another one of these now. I was supposed to do that two packs ago. Nothing interesting. Essentially, I'm going to have every card from these ten these packs at the top here because, of course, you know that was the original set. But tips and tricks, yeah, I want to do more of those. Uh, they're really, really polished videos that I, I'd like people to see, and I can address specific issues very clearly uh, that people ask me to, and I'm just part of this Age of Empires group on Facebook that's got like 20,000 people in it, and genuinely everyone is retarded. Like, they're all completely dumb when it comes to Age 3. They like the game, which is good, I'm glad there's people out there who like the game, but I think it just shows to me, it surprised me how few people actually know about this game and potentially could enjoy watching my videos. I don't think the Zuta style videos that I do with Zuta will be particularly engaging to those people, so I need some uh, lower level commentary and uh, tips and tricks and stuff like that. Uh, this also leads me on to Civilization Guides. That's something I've wanted to do, similar to Zero Empire Civilization Guides for a very long time, but I don't want to do them... Oh, did I open the wrong pack? I did. No, that's... Oh, good. I thought I opened a traditional pack there, but they have the same card back, but that would make sense. Another piloted shredder. Don't know how many of those I've got, and I'm not really paying attention half the time. Good piloted shredder. Bomb lob was pretty good as well. It's like a drunk fire elemental. Um, <laughs> essentially a drunk fire elemental. For those of you who don't know, fire elemental, you choose who you do the damage to. Uh, this one does it randomly. But that's half the time you're going to be able to guarantee what it does damage to by removing everything on the board and making sure the only minion on the board is the one you want to do damage to anyway. So there is that. But I'm not going to be doing civilization guides unless I can make them perfect, and they'll take a long time to do. So instead of civilization guides, which I will eventually do, I want to do like like build order guides. So where I just this is a build order, explain what's good about it, where to use it, how to do it, why this, that, and the other, and uh, you know just every now and again we'll have like a build order video, similar to the tips and tricks style video. So there is that. Um, yeah, so next is the donations. Like, honestly, when I said that my computer was broken, I wasn't asking for money. But, uh, those of you who sent me money, that is, like, outrageously generous. I, I honestly can't believe there are people just, just like, it's, I'm just a guy making videos on the internet. And, um, yeah, so, uh, that, that's, that's really generous. Um, and the streaming as well, like, um, I think uh, people gave me thirty-five pounds or forty pounds. Oh, it's an epic! Yeah. Oh, what is this? Your hero power can target minions. That's why I wouldn't know because I hate Hunter. I'm not going to play Hunter. Um, it's a Hunter-specific card, you can see. But yeah. Uh... <laughs> yes, we got a legendary. Excellent. Whenever this minion takes damage, double its attack. That sounds really good. 
But I still think Schneid's old shred is going to be better. And I still think the um, there's another card like Trogzor, the Earthenator, who I really want for my Druid deck. Um, this is I might end up running this, though, if I don't get that card, because I'm not buying any more cards. I can't afford to do that. But yes, the people of you who, who gave me that money during streaming as well. Uh, i tell you what I've been doing with it, all right? Like... There's a there's a company called um, Circuit, and they 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 run washing machines. Okay, then you you top up your washing machine card via PayPal, and I haven't linked my bank account to PayPal because my online banking got locked because I put the password in wrong too many times. So literally, my washing, my laundry, is done by the money that was sent to me whilst I was streaming. That's how I do my laundry. <laughs> so oh, it's it's just really funny thinking about it. Uh, Mech Bear Cat got the second one. Pretty good. Definitely going to be running two of those, so I need two of those. And Stone Splinter Trog. Yeah. Trogs generally, I think, are really good. I really like the Trog. I, the, yeah, it just, yeah. Anyway, that's good. So now we're on 70. Do I open a pack? Uh, yes, I think I do. And then when we get to 60, we, uh, yeah. So this is a uh, traditional pack again. Nothing going to be that good in here, no. So, yes, there is that. Uh, next up is, is I'm going to be talking about University, I suppose. Yeah, uh, it's pretty fun, pretty enjoying it. It is expensive, and I'm still kind of annoyed about that. But uh, I, I managed to get, as some of you will know, a 90% on one of my assignments, which is pretty good. That's not my all of my assignments, it's just one assignment. And uh, I don't know how I did that. I was really, really astounded to get 90%, and I wanted to, and I was so happy that I decided to put it on Facebook. And uh, it just it just sounded like I was showing off, but actually I was just genuinely happy. Uh, averaging a pretty good grade at the moment, pretty happy about that. Uh, studying linguistics, for those of you who don't know. Let's discuss what that is, if you are interested. Yeah, um, linguistics, though, I am glad that's over. Uh, at least for four weeks or so, before I tell you what it is. Uh, I've got a four-week break now, of course. Uh, the holidays have begun, and then we go back during the new year. But, uh, you know, kind of glad that that's finished for the time being. Like, my last assignment, oh my goodness, I, I stayed up 24 hours solid to get that done. Because, um, <laughs> well, it was due on the mon on a Monday. We finished on a Friday. For, for everyone finished, we're done. No more lectures, completely done. Uh, except they set me a deadline on the Monday after we had finished. So I was there at uni whilst everyone was going home. Uh, but except I wasn't. I was in London with everyone. We, everyone said, let's go to London on our last, our last day before we go back. Because obviously I've got friends from like Norway, uh, from Spain, or from England as well, and the US actually. And you know, they're all going home, but we all want to do something before we leave. And I'm like, yeah, I'll come. And I get tickets and stuff. And like, oh, actually I have a deadline. I should probably do that. But uh, no, went anyway and uh, stayed up 24 hours. The reading for that was, you know, got that done. And uh, I was really happy with that assignment. But Yes, yeah, got four weeks off. Actually, I think I'm going to get Legend in Hearthstone with those four weeks. You know, this is the time to do it because before all the, the meta settles down and everyone knows what's going on, I think this is my time to shine as a good player. I think I'm good enough to get Legend, and I think this is the best situation for me to get Legend in because no one knows what's going on with the game, and uh, I can build a deck. It might not be the best deck because, you know, the meta hasn't settled down yet and no one knows what's good or bad, but I think this is where I, I show through because I can play quite well, I think. Um, you know, before everything settles down, and, you know, the people who, yeah, anyway, linguistics, I was going to say what that is, it's, it's the study of how languages work, uh, the study of human languages, uh, you know, like the grammars of languages, how they function to create the meaning that they do, but, you know, also psycholinguistics, which is how we uh, interpret language in our mind, like the ambiguities of language, like pen, am I talking about uh, a, a pen or a, um, a, you know, writing or, oh, we got the uh, Malrone, the Druid-specific legendary from the uh from you know there's another legendary per class as well as a load a load a bunch of neutral legendaries shuffle this minion into your deck when it dies so instead of dying it goes into your deck meaning that like a super late game druid deck could be really good here because if i'm gonna fatigue and run out of cards i'll never run out of cards unless of course they silence it or uh transform it into a frog or a sheep or something like that uh, but it is already a goat by the looks of it so <laughs> not and it's a beast okay cool yeah, it's not hugely good though. Like I don't think its ability is it, all it is is just a seven mana nine seven, and aside from that, it doesn't really do anything when it hits the board. It's probably not that good. It just looks good. It's not that good. No, it's not that good. But yeah, sociolinguistics is like um, 
lang like how power is manifested in language. Uh, what else do you study in so, like language variation? Like why? I don't know. It's uh, met golden mech bear cat. I've got two golden mech bear cats now. That's pretty good. And druid of the fang got the second one, I think. Or maybe I've got more than that. I don't know. Anyway, I think it's time to open one of these. Yeah. So, um, I think that is everything I was going to say. I did a terrible job of explaining what linguistics is. <laughs> um, I actually want to make a video on what linguistics actually is. I was thinking of making like a linguistics channel where uh, Unstable Portal, I like that card. I, I don't know. I'm not going to talk about why. But um, I, I wanted to make a, like another channel like, on my... Uh, like I have another channel called William Ball, which is of course my name, as BPDS Colony points out every single stream. Um, I think most people know what my name is. I actively give it out on Twitter, so follow me on that, by the way, if you didn't know. I wanted to make a channel. Oh, Bouncing Blade. Deal one damage to a random minion. Repeat until a minion dies. So if, uh, that could end up doing a lot of damage. And, uh, two rares and an epic and a single pack. And two traditional, uh, normals as well. Commons, I should say. But I wanted, to, you know, every time like I go over a subject that's hard to understand, I can make like a video on it to consolidate my knowledge as like a revision activity, and then upload it to this linguistics channel, which would be very specialist. I wouldn't be, I'd be very surprised if many of my subscribers, like you guys, now would be interested in that. But you never know. Over time, it might become like some sort of internet resource for linguistics, and uh, the very first video would be like an introduction to what it is. And like, oh, Bolvar Four Dragon, Paladin card. Maybe I'll be running some Paladin decks. Whenever a friendly minion dies, um, uh, while this is in your, no, sorry, when it, yeah, whenever a friendly minion dies, while this is in your hand, game plus one attack. So if you draw this at like the beginning of the game, and then <laughs> like play it at the, near the end of the game, or well, I don't know, like you don't really want to be drawing a five cost minion in your hand as the game begins, but yeah, yeah. So that that's something I want to do, and that linguistics video that I put up will probably be way more interesting um, <laughs> and it'll explain things a bit better I should hope hopefully that will be the case that is true but uh, yes oh Grove Tender yes I will if I'm gonna be running that super late game druid deck then I would definitely be running Grove Tender because give each player a mana crystal uh, yeah you're giving your opponent a mana crystal but if your if your deck is composed of just massive cards then uh, you having a mana crystal is going to be way better than them having one. And uh, if they do manage to rush you down, then, you know, you've got your tree of life at the end. I, I, I don't know. That's just the deck I want to I want to try. I want to make that deck. I might end up putting, like, Ogre Brutes in. Like, I personally think Ogre Brute is one of the best cards, like, in Arena at least. It's, like, it's something they have to deal with at some point. And the fact that it has a 50% chance to target the wrong thing is usually irrelevant. Like, I just don't think that's... Like, I don't think that's a problem. Like, I mean, it can be, but I just think the stats are so good on that. Yeah. So, there is that. But, uh, I can't think of anything else I wanted to say. I've got, I wrote a list, and now I've gotten to the end of it. So, I'm just going to quickly go through these packs. And if you want to stay for the rest of that, then you are, by every means, welcome to do so. So, thank you very much for watching. But, uh, let's get, oh, another Mech Bear Cat. Let's open the rest of these packs up. Oh, I think I... Yeah, we have to open one of these packs now. I, th I thought what would happen is um, I'd end up... What a terrible pack. Like, all commons and this thing sucks. Arcane Golem is awful. I thought I'd run out of packs whilst talking to open, and then at the end it would just be me sitting here, like, talking without packs to open. But... It, oh, second Grove Tender. Really happy about that. And then it would just be me sitting here talking with nothing to do. But actually, these packs have been distracting me. Maybe it would have been best to do not come. I just thought, like, oh, this would be an interesting thing to do in the background. That, you know, even if you play this game or not. Oh, two Robo Cubs. I don't think I'd... Hmm, maybe I'll run that in my Druid. Uh, I like the, this I like this eth effect, but um, I just don't know if it'll be good enough to run in Druid. So, yeah. Hopefully I explained everything well. I think people get the idea. Yeah, another <laughs> anatized Robo Cub, Bomb Lobber. Yeah, I think you know I'm gonna get more than enough cards to build uh, to build all sorts of decks out of this. But yeah, for those of you who will, if you're still watching this and you don't know what this game is, then um, let me let me tell you about it. I guess 
essentially, it's uh, both players have 30 health, and you have to try and kill your opponent by taking out all of their health. Another Druid of the Fang, nice Druid card. I've got more than two of those now. And then once you kill them, you win. But the way you go about that, you're not really trying to rush them down to zero as fast as you can. You're sort of, you know, in the same way that when you play British um, or a Boomy Civ, you're not rushing them down to death straight away. Like, you're playing a little bit for the longer game, and you might have, a, you know, your class or your deck or your civilization. We get Mal Malganus, a Warlock card specific. Your other demons have plus 2-2. Two two. Your hero is immune. So you can't die whilst this thing's alive. Or maybe this is going to create a demon deck archetype then, I guess. Maybe it was like, currently, you just don't see demons being played by warlocks, unless it's arena. Because all they do is they play the super rushy deck because of their hero ability, which draws them cards. Or they play super late game deck because of all the cards. Oh, this is an epic. <laughs> Piloted Sky Golem. There it is, definitely. One of my uh, preferred cards to have. Something that I really wanted. I really wanted to open up one of these so I could put it in my deck. And a shield of minibot. But yeah, so it's sort of like the, the deck I'll be playing is super boomy. Like super greedy boomy deck. And uh, that tree of life you saw earlier is going to heal me to full. And that's the kind of deck I want to build. I don't think it'll be very good though. Think like, like the deck will be good. It'll just be in the wrong meta. Like if it was in a super rushy meta. If everyone was playing super fast rush decks it might be good. But more often than not, Tree of Life probably isn't going to be doing that much. It's probably not going to be that useful. But we'll see. But yeah, essentially, you start the game with mana. Like, uh, I don't know how familiar you are with, um, say... Oh, another epic! Dark Whispers. Choose one. And it... Choo wow, it's a Druid card? Choose one. Summon five Wisps. Or give a minion plus five, five, and taunt. I don't think that's usually useful. And I think the five Wisps is just... Blizzard decided to add that for the troll. A wisp is a zero mana one one. Stone splinter trog. Golden. Oh, we have to open one of these now. But yeah, you start the game like in Magic the Gathering, you have to draw mana, which is like the resource that allows like this thing costs one mana. You put this card in a rushy deck. This thing costs three mana. It's bad, but you put it in a in like a, a late game deck where health is more useful. And uh, in, in Magic the Gathering and in, say, Pokemon, you, you have to draw energy or mana. And um, that's what allows you to, I don't know, do the what the card... Yeah, but in this game, you start the game with one mana. And then on your second turn, you have two mana. And then on your third turn, you have three mana. And it goes on like that. And if you don't all spend all of that mana, like, if you, you... You want to spend all of your mana every turn. Because if you don't, it gets wasted and you can't ever... You won't be able to ever use it again. So, um... Rush decks, traditionally... They play a lot of cheap cards and try and rush you down, and then in the late game they end up being really mana inefficient. They'll just waste like loads of mana every turn. Rush uh, boom decks, boom decks, <laughs> uh, late game decks will traditionally struggle to get their cards out because they cost too much. And then um, in the late game they'll have like they'll efficiently spend all of their mana every turn and just want then then it can hopefully stabilize and then just knock their opponent over. So that's good. Uh, Jeeves, at the end of your at the end of each player's turn, that player draws cards until they have three cards. So both players will keep drawing cards until you have three. But if you're a rush deck, then your opponent's likely to have more than three cards in their hand anyway. Whereas you're spending all of your mana on all of your cards, all of these cheap cards every turn, and then you redraw up to three. This would be really useful in a rush deck because your opponent won't get the benefit. So you can see like um, strategy starting to emerge right away. Yes. I wanna, I really am hoping to get, I was hoping to get a few more legendaries, I've only gotten two so far. And uh, I kind of wanted more than that from 100 packs, because I am not spending any more money on this game. Um, it's, you know, in theory you can get every single card by never spending a penny, it would just take you a while. And uh, if you sign in every day, do all of your quests, which I won't show you right now, I was going to go and show you my quests, but you get... Like, uh, if you play three games as a particular class, or if you deal a certain amount of damage to enemy heroes, you, c you get rewarded with coins every day, and those add up. Two crackles in one pack, fair enough. And then uh, you, you can slowly add up and get all of the cards. Like, most of these cards I bought came from gold, and then I bought some with uh, real money, but you don't have to spend real money. Like, you, if you wanted to try the game out, then you... 
Like, um, you could you could get quite high up the, the, the rating ladder with uh, basic cards, actually, if you were good. But if you enjoy the game, then fine. And if not, then you don't have to play it anymore. I guess it's worth trying. But if you want to play, like, top level, if you, and, and you'd only do that if you really enjoyed the game, like, the best players will need pretty much every card in the game. Now the second pilot is Sky Golem. I am slightly lucky then. The lack of legendaries is made up by the fact that I got the exact epics that I need, so I won't have to craft this. But, uh, oh no, I did get the one of the druid legendaries, not that it's hugely useful. Oh, I'm supposed to open a regular pack. I guess we'll do that now. Another epic, Dark Whispers, another Grove Tender. Not huge, I don't really like Dark Whispers, but whatever. Anyway, uh, Dark Whispers, it looks interesting. I just don't think I'll end up running that card in my deck. Like, 5 mana for a 5-5 five five isn't that good. I guess it does have charge if you play it on a minion that's going to attack that turn anyway. Another epic, lots of epics. Though this is a uh, traditional pack, because obviously I had to open one of those. But these cards will all disenchant, and I can, you know, turn them into dust, which I'll then use to craft the cards that I do want out of the, the new Goblins vs. Gnome expansion set, which is good. Yes! Excellent. Shaman specific legendary. Uh, 7 mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. Battle cry. Add 4 random murlocs to your hand. Also, suddenly shaman is becoming way more murloc orientated. Uh, fair enough, I guess. If See if there are any shaman murloc decks out there. I still think warlock can pull off shaman. Other than that, probably not many other classes could pull off uh, murloc deck. Murloc deck is like cards that are really bad individually. But they synergize really well with each other, and they buff each other loads, and they're really good. Um, but traditionally, I, I, I just don't think Murlocs are that good, so I guess Shaman is now becoming the Murloc class. Mech Bear Cat, though I do have two rare versions of this, can disenchant the golden ones for loads of dust and just use this normal one, and then craft some actual useful cards. But yeah, Hearthstone, I think, is, is uh, the most free-to-play card game you will ever see, ever. Like, you can't, like, play Magic the Gathering. This is so much cheaper than, say, that, or any other card game. So people criticize Hearthstone and say, oh, it's, like, pay to win. And, like, well, yeah, but no, at the same time, like, you can get every card for free. You cannot do that in any other card game. Yeah, it takes a long time, but you can do it. And this is cheap. It's a cheap game compared to... Plus, the way I see it is if you enjoy it, why not spend £30 on it? say, or $30, or whatever you'd normally spend on a new game that you would buy anyway. Another Mech Bear Cat. So that's how I viewed this game. I think I, I got into it just by watching a YouTuber I liked. Uh, my, I like, uh, there's some YouTubers I subscribe to for games that they played, and um, I was not interested in anything else, but I watched it anyway, and I thought, this game's fairly interesting, I like you as a YouTuber. Yes, another epic. Uh, Shadow, a Priest card, deal three damage to each hero. That, oh, okay, uh, that is, sounds interesting. Like, if you're building a rush deck, you don't care about damage done to your face, because, like, damage you've done, damage done to you doesn't matter. You're rushing them down, they're unlikely. They'd be more focused on killing your things on the board to try and stop themselves from dying. So the three damage to you is basically not really a thing. But I, I guess if it just did three damage to them, it would be way too overpowered. Um, stops you from putting this in control decks, I guess. That's interesting, I like that. I know what most of these cards do because I've seen pictures of them all on Facebook, so I don't have to, like, discuss them. But the ones that are, like, epics and stuff like that, I guess I haven't seen as much of. Another golden common. So, yeah, that's good. Now I think we have to open this. This is a traditional pack. See what we get. If I get, like, a... If this last card's a legendary from my traditional pack, I'll be like, Oh, why can't I get a new legendary? No, it's not. It's demon fire. Okay. Wow, I haven't got that many legendaries. Come on, I need more legendaries. Golden rare. That's how many rare how many golden mech bear cats have I been given? That's absolutely. Yeah. But uh what was I saying? This this is yeah, fairly free. Yeah, oh by the way, yeah, the last thing I guess I should should say, I should have said this earlier in the video. Ogre Brute, I do like that card. Probably got loads of those. Is that I'm going to be uh, like, I, I am not, I've not reached Legend yet, which is the highest rank you can get in Hearthstone. I think I'm good enough to do it, and I'm going to try and do it. And I, I've got a four week break, essentially, from uni. I'm back for four weeks, so, 
yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do that in my four week break. I think it's achievable. I don't have to. I will only have to spend like an hour or two every day. And once I've done it, I get like my card back. Like I can change my. I go to my options menu. I can change my card back to look at. Oh, I'm gonna change it to the green one. And uh, I'll get a, once I if I get legend, then I get a card back that says I managed to reach legend once. And then next season I won't be legend anymore. But I'll have a card back to prove that I did it once. I just want to do it once, and then I don't have to play this game as much as I can. I can just play it as more casually. But I think I can do it, and I want to do it. And I can, um, this is the best time to do it during an expansion because good players will shine through. Trigger all death rattles on your minions. Nice epic card there. And uh, I think good players shine during expansions because they're good at deck building as well as playing. So I'll be able to build a deck and it'll be new. And like once everything becomes standard and people know what decks are good and what decks are bad and how to play against every deck, then um, I won't be so good because like even, well not bad players because those people will know what they're doing. But that's the point, people will know what they're doing. And I think I'm good in the sense that I will be able to cope in a in a mess. Oh, there it is, Doctor Boom. It's actually a good legendary, or is it? Summon two one one boom bots. Warning: bots may explode, and they do explode. I know what the boom bots do. You get a boom bot, which is uh, it does between one and four damage to an enemy, and they're pretty. So that's a pretty good card. Implosion, deal two to four damage to a minion. Summon a one one for each. Uh, damage dealt to it. Absolutely. Oh, this is a. Uh, we have to open the last regular pack now. Oh, two rares. Not bad. I guess these these all disenchant. This all adds up because I already have two copies of all of these. You can't put more than two of the same card in your deck unless it's a legendary in which you can only put one. Come on, let's get ten legendaries in a row. Whoa! Flame Leviathan. Unfortunately, I will probably never run that card. I don't like it. It's a mage specific card, but it's interesting. It's, the, it's one of the few cards that does something when you draw it. When you draw this card, deal two damage to all characters, which would be kind of annoying in the early game, uh, where you're like, <laughs> you've got your like, you play your your two cost minion, and then on the following turn you draw like Flame Leviathan, and you're like, oh, okay. But I guess if uh, you're putting Flame Leviathan in your deck, you'd be more late game orientated, and you wouldn't have like two cost minions on turn two, or something like that. Spider Tank, best three in the best three cost minion in the game, probably. In arena at least. Really good stats for a three cost. Come on. Give me a legendary. No, that's a rare. It's okay. I like rares. Rares are good. Alright, all normals. That was a pretty bad pack. But yeah, I'm uh I don't know. In a way, I, I wish I, I wanted to do something interesting whilst they talked. Yep, nice quartermaster. And then playing Hearthstone in the background was uh, a good, well, opening packs was a good idea, but this is, uh, distracted me from what I wanted to say, but also, um, I haven't enjoyed opening my packs as much. I like doing this. Got another epic. Fell Reaver. Whenever your opponent plays a card, discard the top three cards of your deck, which in Hearthstone you have 30 cards in a deck, so three cards is 10% of your deck. But a five mana 8-8 eight, eight is absolutely insane that is the strongest card for its stats in the game like without a doubt five mana eight eight except venture co mercen venture co mercenary is weaker but comes close as a five mana seven six but it makes all of your minions cost three more which is uh, i think this drawback is more tempo but worse in the late long run fell reaver though certainly an interesting card Maybe it'll see play, but then again, it might just make you fatigue really quickly and just die. Nothing amazing there. Let's get these last couple of packs out. I can't remember if I was, if I was talking about something and I'd forgotten what I was talking about. The Druid of the Fang, if you have a beast trans... Oh, we've got that already. It's just I saw Druid and wanted to read it. Some more legendaries. Come on. The last pack. Ah. Uh, all right. Now let's go disenchant them all. I could buy four more packs, but I want to save that for arena. Right. So. 
We have a lot of new cards, as you can see across the top. And a lot of dust as well, because, of course, this is going to... I've got 51... Um, 51 duplicate rare cards and 307 duplicate common cards apparently uh, that includes that includes the rares and commons I got from the original packs not just um, and I got one duplicate rare as well apparently Gold, golden duplicate rare so let's disenchant that lots of dust 4000 dust I can get like um, three legendaries I can craft three legendaries with all of this dust or I could craft like 12 or 16 rare, sorry, 16 epics or I don't know, 32 rares or something like that or like a, a huge amount of commons, I don't know. Or maybe not that many, I don't know, just I'll be out of craft cards, I'm not actually sure how many I'll be out of craft, but yes, that is the end of the video. Uh, thought I'd run out of cards before I finished talking. Actually the other way around. So yes, um, if, you, if you would like to see Hearthstone videos though, let me know because I will be getting Legend something I really want to do, once I've done it, I don't have to do it again, then I can then I can just play this game casually. But uh, if I'm going Legend, would you like me, would you like to see some of the uh, high-end Hearthstone matches that I will be playing? High rank end, yes. Anyway, thank you. We'll see you all again next time.